Welcome, welcome to scrape YouTube comments for natural language processing, sentiment analysis, market research, product research, or whatever other reason you want to go to console.cloud.google.com. You can do this for free and make sure you're in the correct project. So if you need to change projects, click on this bar at the top with the project name and select the correct project. Then click on the navigation menu, go to APIs and services, and click on library, search or browse for the YouTube data API. Select it. If this is your first time using it, this blue button will probably say enable instead of manage. So click on that, click on credentials, then on the right side, click on create credentials and select API key. Now we'll go to Google Gemini and give it this prompt to create a Python script for Google Colab using the YouTube data API to scrape the comments from the video into a table with the columns for comment and number of likes and ordering the comments by the number of likes while giving us a preview of the first 10 rows and exporting the table into a CSV file. Look through the response and the code, look through the different drafts. I'm going to go with the second draft because I like this one the best. You can see all the notes and the comments that it includes, as well as the notes at the bottom of the response to run this code. I did notice that before the light count and text display up here, there should be another square bracket and quotation marks encasing snippet before each of those in both of these lines. But we can add that when we export our code to Google Colab. And to do that, we'll scroll down to the bottom of the response, click on the share and export icon and select export to Colab. It'll give you this note indicating that a notebook with the Python code has been created and saved in your Google Drive. And then you can click on this call to action to open the notebook in Colab. You can rename the notebook if you need something more specific, but it's exported the code along with the instructions as text. Grab the API key that you created in Google Cloud Platform, as well as the YouTube video ID, which is this alphanumeric value after the question mark V equals in the video URL. We've replaced the placeholders as Google Gemini has instructed us to. Then we can click on this play icon to run the cell. If there are any errors, Google Colab will provide some assistance and give you some information regarding that error. And you can use Google Gemini within Colab to try to work through those errors. But we scroll down and we see the output here in this cell. And since we're looking for a CSV file, We'll click on this folder icon in the left menu and it shows us our CSV file here. You can double click on the file to look at a preview. If you hover over the file, there are these three dots. When you click on it, you have the option to download it, rename it, delete it, etc. And of course, you can edit the code and make any changes to it. If you found this useful, like the video and leave a comment. If you want more content on AI, workflow automation, and analytics, subscribe to the channel.